Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot, 201X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Ow, that looked painful. Well, anyways, hey everybody, I'm Mega Metal Man X, and this is Undertale, a game that I've heard a lot about on YouTube and seen a lot of people been playing it, and it looks kind of cool, be just because it's like retro style. So I'm gonna play it. I haven't really seen people play it, I've just seen the name of it on YouTube. Okay, name the fallen human. That is, I guess, my character. Let's see. Uh... Looks like a girl character to me. So I'll just call her... No, not Meg. Let's call her Mega. Could be a guy or a girl's name. Okay. What am I sleepwalking or something? This looks like Earthbound. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of... Levels. I guess. What's level? What's LV stand for? Why in love, of course. Okay, that's the first time I've ever heard it being stand for that. I thought it was level, so oh well. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Aw. Down here, love is shared th through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. What? You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. Okay. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. 
Am I sure I can trust you? Are you gonna turn into a freaking deadly creepy monster too? Hey, I'm still sleepwalking. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh, okay, it's a save point. Like in Final Fantasy VI. Alright. Keep following this goat person. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Damn, I hate puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. What, do you want me to do what you just did? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Okay, that's a no-brainer. Stay on the path. Will I ever open my eyes? Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move on to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up with a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like an RPG. You encountered the dummy. Holy crap, this is like Earthbound! Mercy. <laughs> so what I'm seeing is that this is a game for pacifists. If you don't want to fight, then you just give them mercy. Well, I'm sorry, that's not my prerogative here. Uh, check? Dummy. Attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dot, 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 dot. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Talk to, I guess? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. So am I going to do any fighting at all in this game, or am I just going to be talking to people like an idiot? Froggit attacks you. Oh, oh yeah, I saw this on Markiplier's video. Oh, I can't. What? You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Because I am a failure. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. So you can walk over spikes. What are you, Chris Angel or something? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Nope, no shit. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Well, sure. 
I can walk to the end of this damn hallway. I don't need someone holding my hand the entire way. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Saving. Froggit hopped close. Okay, screw this, I'm fighting. Hop, hop. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. What am I fighting with? Do I have a sword or something? You won. You earned three experience and two gold. Ha! Alright! I'm gonna do that from now on instead of just talking to people. I don't want this to be like MLP, friendship is gay. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Monster candy. What does that do? You ate the monster candy. Your HP was maxed out. Alright, so I guess this game was really, really inspired off of Earthbound. Wimson approached meekly. Huh. Wimson, huh? Froggit? Seems a lot like Pokemon, too. So it doesn't matter if there are creatures looming around in the room or not. I just get into random encounters. Uh, I'm guessing I'll fall through that. Yep. But I can't just sit around here doing nothing. Waiting for that person to tell me what to do next. Huh, those things are weak. I don't take any damage from that, do I? Okay, good. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh... For me, personally... I'm terrible with choices. Uh, butterscotch, I guess. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know that your preference, I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right? Right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way, three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh great, a whole field of cracked floor panels. Oh boy. Please don't step on the leaves. Well fuck you, I'm stepping on them. 
What are you gonna do about it? Mold small. Looks like a gelatin dessert. Scorch. Sexy wiggle. Um, I started to spoil. I don't care. Die. Your love increased. I would have thought it went down since I'm killing things, not talking to them. Uh Oh, maybe the floor panels are connected to the leaves. M maybe that's what I'm supposed to not step on. I don't know. But I'm terrible at remembering things. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay, what's the point of those? Do I even have a point? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Of course they did, dumbass. Oh. Yeah, I'm terrible at memorization. Frog, it hopped close. Croak, croak. Frog, it hops to and fro. Oops, going the wrong way. Yay! Froggit and Wimson drew near. Croak, croak. Hop, hop. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, you troll! Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ew, I'm not eating it then. Perhaps I should leave it here, since I really don't know how long this video has been going on for.
Nah, you know what? I'll go explore some more. Is that a ghost? And some leaves? Whatever it is, it's sleeping. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Here comes Nap Stab Look. Uh, can I beat this thing? Just plugging along. Naps Dab Block is wishing they weren't here. Just plugging along. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. faint odor of ectoplasm permeates the vicinity. I didn't even know it had a scent. I'm fine, thanks. Napstab lock is staring into the distance. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sorta of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry. I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. You won. You lost one experience point. Oh, thanks. Now this is getting really screwed up. Oh well. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it here. And I might come back. Because I really have nothing else to do. There are really no games to play. Now that I would be interested in. This... This game just seems to be... Kind of amusing. Just because it reminds me of Earthbound. And Pokemon. Well anyways. I'm gonna go. But I'll see you next time, hopefully, on Mega Metal Man X. So, I'm saying, PEACE out.